going on guys? This is Daniel from the Guitar Sanctuary. I want to talk about something that you may have seen online, and that is a fan fret guitar. Now, fan fret is one term for this. It's also called a multi-scale guitar. And by multi-scale, that just means that some of the strings are longer than others. So on this particular one, this is a Loudon F35. The scaling is a 640 millimeter and 680 millimeter. And the reason they do that, it's twofold. One thing is to get better intonation, but it also adds tension to the strings. So the longer your strings get, the more tension you get. It's the same way if you look at a piano, the bass strings are always going to be longer than the treble strings. And the reason that is, you need more string tension to produce those low notes and to produce them accurately and clearly than you do with higher strings. Or, yeah, higher pitch strings, I guess you could say. So this particular one doesn't have too big of a scale length difference in it, but the biggest advantage with it is intonation. So when you fret this on your first fret, on a typical flat fret guitar, where this note and this note sit are not the same. The lower that you go in your notes, the further, the further apart the notes themselves get. That's why if you look at like a bass guitar on the lowest you know, notes, the frets are really far apart and as you go up they get closer and closer together. So what this does is this physically puts this note and that note closer to where they actually are instead of having to just do a little bit of compensation of the saddle. The other benefit is the string tension. So on your lower strings, you get more tension on the bass side, but you get the same tension that you need on the treble side. So when you're playing chords, some strings be really hard to play and some strings be really easy to play. So typically on a standard scale guitar it's about 25.5 inches or 25.4 for a Martin scale length. The lower strings are always a little bit floppy compared to a standard scale, or not standard, compared to a multi-scale length guitar. And the reason that is is because the lower strings technically need more tension to produce those notes more accurately. So a lot of people will put medium gauge strings on there to add to the tension. And that's a pretty decent fix for that, but when you have a multi-scale, it physically puts more tension on the string just naturally. So when you're playing, you're not having to constantly go from strings that you have to press hard on to strings that you press easy on because they're all pretty much at the right tension for that particular note. Another big benefit is if you do any sort of altered tunings, the added tension on the lower strings doesn't give you that spaghetti sound that you get. So if we go even lower, this is just drop D. I'm going to drop it down to a C. That C is still in tune. And I'm not doing anything different, I'm just playing like I normally would. because it has the fan frets, it really is more natural for your hands because if you think about it, when you're down here, in the first position, your hand naturally kicks back. As you go up, your hand naturally flattens out. And as you go up even further, your hand tilts forward just a little bit. So it's more ergonomic to play a guitar that has this particular fretboard than forcing your hand to do a whole bunch of perfectly straight lines going up and down the neck. So I'm going to play around a little bit with that alter tuning and kind of give you an idea of what you can do with it. So this is C and G on the lower two strings.
This is a fantastic way to build a guitar. This particular one from Loudon is made in Ireland. This is a redwood top and a Coca Bolo back and sides, which is absolutely gorgeous. Loudon makes some of the best fan frets in the industry, and this particular one is available at theguitarsanctuary.com.